like uh, you're saying sunil this is not an exit that has come as a surprise to many but you know does this scathing attack against the gandhis against uh, uh, the leadership of rahul gandhi particularly the manner in which this five page letter has been worded has this perhaps caught the congress of god not at all i mean uh, it, it is as i said uh, they were waiting for this resignation letter for a long time uh, it hasn't come as a surprise to many within the congress party uh, many of those points that he's spoken about we have reflected uh, as part of g23 as part of dissenters election after election when results have been bad uh, these points have been put to us as so space information about rahul gandhi uh, running the entire party through his cronies through his uh, uh, pas through his uh, security guards these points have been consistently point out uh, just to give our viewers some important uh, developments uh, one of his important colleagues uh, mr anil sharma who hadn't been taken into conference uh, for this resignation i spoke to him and he says i am pained and shocked over the resignation of gulam nabi azad one of the tallest leaders of the party i understand his anguish to take these extreme steps in my humble in my humble opinion uh, this could have been avoided i wasn't aware of this resignation and will be meeting him and other colleagues the congress faces uh, an existential crisis so uh, it's in that context uh, mr anil sharma Uh, who had also resigned uh, from the post of uh, Himachal Pradesh steering committee upset at the manner in which uh, things were being unfolded in the state of Himachal Pradesh uh, and is at present in Himachal and is on his way back to Delhi uh, will be meeting Mr Gulab Nabi Azad uh, the congress president had already directed Mr Rajiv Shukla uh, to placate Mr uh, Gulab Nabi Azad and uh, in the last few days uh, he's been doing that in Himachal uh, but he definitely Uh, though not being aware of the decision of this resignation letter uh, is uh, come out uh, in support saying he understands his anguish uh, and uh, the reasons uh, for why these uh, uh, mr gulam nabi azad has resigned uh, there's been another colleague of mr gulab nabi azad mr sandeep dikshit who is also signatory to that account and i hope we are using his letter uh, just as well as they have uh, uh, pointed out about mr gulam nabi azad uh, and the fact that they feel betrayed in the manner in which uh, he has uh, resigned uh, and uh, the issues that they had brought uh, was about uh, not about reform not about revolt uh, and it's in that context uh, this has happened uh, what we have been told by uh, sources close to mr gulab nabi azad uh, is that uh, uh, he has taken this decision uh, with jammu and kashmir uh, in mind uh, we, he he plans to float a regional outfit uh, and it's in that context uh, he would like Uh, to make uh, uh, his own presence felt uh, when elections are held hopefully later next year right uh, sunil a couple of important points uh, over here you know this is just yet another high profile exit in the long list that we've reported just in the recent past whether it's kapil sibal hardik patel sunil jhakar ashwini kumar rpn singh now gulam nabi azad and the list doesn't stop there the disquiet within the congress party is quite out there in the public uh you know whether it is the likes of uh, manish tiwari or anand sharma who have been uh, openly unhappy with the leadership of the congress or even shashi tharoor for that matter who's recently quoted telling a newspaper that he has other options available uh you know how, how this this entire implosion in a certain sense you know happening at a time right now especially when the gandhis are not even here uh, and just ahead of the congress presidential elections well this uh, churning was expected this implosion implosion as 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 we've been saying uh, was expected it was not that it wasn't uh, the fact uh, and it emanates from the fact that rahul gandhi uh, is not ready uh, to be the congress president and this of course he made clear uh, way back in 2019 we were the first uh, channel to break that news at that time uh, that he would not uh, uh, continue as congress president and that he was firm about his opinion and that he would not Uh, and he wanted a non gandhi to continue as the congress uh, uh, president and lead and he would continue to do it it's in that same context uh, that uh, this uh, situation uh, unfolds uh, so really rahul gandhi still being reluctant uh, and this has created uh, the crisis in many ways so uh, definitely a lot uh, needs to be seen and done in the next uh, few days uh, and uh, definitely uh, there will be a lot of churning within the party 
uh, of course, uh, this has uh, damaged the Congress party, especially, and as the official spokesperson pointed out, at the time when they are doing a hollow bowl campaign against price rise, against uh, uh, polarization, uh, against uh, unemployment, uh, uh, these are definitely uh, distractions or uh, aberrations that they could have avoided uh, in the run-up uh, to that uh, important uh, Bharat Jodo Yatra, right. uh, which the Congress party so Neil, uh, is uh, reaction, looking towards. So definitely these are some... Right. In terms of a reaction from the Congress party, uh, you know, they were scheduled to hold a press conference, like they said at the outset, that it was supposed to be about the excise policy of the Delhi government, but they reacted very briefly to Ghulam Nabi Azad's exit, calling it unfortunate uh, and saying that the timing couldn't have been worse. But there was nothing really on the contents of that letter, nothing really responding to, you know, those those accusations against the functioning of the Congress with Jairam Ramesh saying that, you know, this is factually incorrect. But there hasn't been a very detailed response as far as the Congress is concerned. Well, uh, I, I think uh, I, I was there present and I'm very clear, Mr. Jairam Ramesh, very act, uh, 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 you know, pointedly made it out and said that this is factually incorrect. Uh, and uh, and there are many factual in inaccuracies in that uh, letter and I'm not uh, going to get into that uh, diatribe. Uh, but uh, definitely, uh, you know, Rishika, there have been issues, for example, tearing up of the ordinance. Uh, Mr. Jairam Ramesh says, show me where uh, the, uh, the uh, ordinance has been torn. One visual, he meant it literally and at that time. The fact that it was cleared by the co-group, yes, that it was cleared by the president was, is, was a big question mark. Because there was never, you know, the, he, he, the fact is that President Pranab Mukherjee, and we reported it about it in those years, uh, that he was not ready to sign. Uh, and, and that is why Mr. Shinde had to go back to him uh, once again. Uh, and it's in that context that we have seen uh, those events uh, unfold. Uh, and, it's in, it's in, and definitely uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, going forward and backwards on this entire matter, on the issue, uh, which was ultimately on the, on the, the on what was the ordinance about, about criminals in politics, anybody who has been convicted for more than two years. It was ultimately struck down by the Supreme Court that there should not be any special preference uh, for an MLA or an elected person. Uh, so uh, it's in that context and at that particular uh, atmosphere that Mr. Rahul Gandhi had said what he did. Uh, it did definitely up upset the Prime Minister at that time uh, and there was a reaching out by Mr. Rahul Gandhi as well as uh, the Congress President uh, and they settled issues uh, amicably at that time. Uh, so a uh, lot has been said about it but the fact of the matter is uh, what has been Mr. Gulab Nabi Azad's role uh, as a Congress leader and a Congress worker uh, right through that entire phase and as one spokesperson pointed out, uh, he was the architect for the division of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh.